Uh, Marcus Conti reporting. So it took Trump about a half a day, not even, a few hours to figure out a strategy, how he's going to push back on a house controlled by the loony left, by the Democrats, right? And he, he kind of, he's basically, basically threatened them. Right? So, <clears throat> did you see the, um, there was a press conference, uh, I think it was about 12 o'clock at the White House, and uh, Trump basically says, he says, look, you guys control the House of Representatives. Now that the Democrats control the House of Representatives and they're going to, he, he coins a term, coins a phrase. I'm going to play the whole tape. I'll play it. It's, it's only a minute or two, right? But what a minute. Oh, man, what a fucking minute. Uh, uh, he calls it investigation fatigue. Uh, this is a disclaimer. I'm not a fan of, of politics as usual, tit for tat, but it, it, they're, they're off the rails. The lunatic left has gone off the rails, so it's a little necessary. So Trump calls it investigation fatigue. It's this, you know? You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a great term, man. Uh, he says, uh, we could play that game, too. Uh, we have this thing called the United States Senate. Ah. And a lot of questionable things were done. Leaks of classified info. Many, uh, many of, uh, many bad things, right? You'll, you'll hear him say it in his own, own words. And he says that, uh, that now Nancy Pelosi is his best friend. But here's the deal, right? He's saying, he's saying basically... He's saying basically, you keep you keep uh, with this investigation of uh, impeachment and and my uh, you know attacking his children for stupidity, whatever whatever it is they're attacking his or, or people around him in his circle. You keep demanding his taxes. He's gonna he's gonna you, you, now that Mueller's out of the way because Mueller's irrelevant now. The House of Representatives is gonna go. They don't need Mueller anymore for the, to. To do their dirty work, right? So now they're going to do their own dirty work, and Trump is basically telling them, if you continue with the investigations, I'm going to use the Senate to investigate you. Now, it's just muscle flexing, but let's watch it together. This is so beautiful. It's such a beautiful. They want to do things. You know, I keep hearing about uh, investigations, fatigue, like from the time, almost from the time I announced I was going to run, they've been giving us this uh, investigation fatigue. It's been a long time. They got nothing. They're zero. You know why? Because there is nothing. But they can play that game, but we can play it better. Because we have a thing called the United States Senate. And a lot of very questionable things were done between leaks of classified information and many other elements that should not have taken place. And all you're going to do is end up in back and forth and back and forth and two years is going to go up and we won't have done a thing. I really think and I really respected what Nancy said last night about bipartisanship and getting together and uniting. She used the word uniting and she used the, the bipartisanship statement, which is so important because that's what we should be doing. So we can uh, look at us. They can look at us. Now we can look at them, and it'll go back and forth, and it'll probably be very good for me politically. I could see it being extremely good politically, because I think I'm better at that game than they are, actually. But uh, we'll find out. I mean, you know, we'll find out. Or we can work together. You can't do them simultaneously, by the way. Just think of somebody says, oh, you can do them both. No, you can't. Because if they're doing that, we're not doing the other, just so you understand. So we won't be doing that. But now what happens is we send it to the Senate, and we'll get 100 percent Democrats. So that's that's a, that was a direct threat. That was that's that's direct threat of we can't we can't do both. If you're gonna if you're going to uh, right, he said if you're gonna continue with the investigations, right, we're not gonna do the other thing. So all of your hopes and dreams of getting all of your little your little you know projects together for the American people. And and then get a you know get a law passed to, and then bring it to the Senate. He's not going to do it with the investigations. You can't do both. He, he sums it up at the end. You can't do both. If they're doing this, we're not going to do that. You can't do both, right? So that's pretty powerful. I think I just guarantee you the mainstream media is not going to report that. You know, I, I watched it and I was like, it didn't occur to me that he just threatened the House of Representatives with. Quote, we have a thing called the, the United States Senate, and a lot of questionable things were done. Leaks of classified information. Ha <laughs> ha. That's why Trump is the, you know, that's the big man. 
That's the big man. That's the very fucking strong president. Oh, fuck it up. I'm going to break your fucking ball. Right? He's faceless, man. He's, he's selfless. And um, I don't know. It's inspiring. But if that's, if that's the direction it's going to go. But the Democrats are not going to fight. They don't know how to fight. They're going to roll over for a belly rub. And they're going to do what he tells them to do. They want their little policy passed, right? And, and it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. They, Trump will work with the Democrats on policy. You know, the Republicans don't have policy. They'll give me the fucking money and that's the policy. So, so it's a, so the, as the, not even a day has gone by and we already see the light of a uh, democratically controlled house, right? And you may now, now you'll see, oh, if, see, see if the, if the tell will be, if the media starts to spin it, oh, Trump is a, uh, we, we like what Trump is saying. Trump's a good guy now. Now, if Trump becomes a good guy, you know that the Democrats are rolling over. And all that Russia bullshit will go out the, uh, out the window. So they'll have to make a, um, they'll have to flip a coin. Democrats will now have to flip a coin and decide. Do they want to get their policies and, and stuff done on behalf of the American people, right? Health care and taxes and all those things, right? Do they actually want to do that? Or do they want to do they want to uh, stonewall this president with the pompous view of winning, beating him in 2020, which is at this point is an impossibility unless a a new face emerges from the muck, you know, like, you know, something some some other guy or gal comes up. Uh, they're not going to beat Trump. So it's it's interesting. They've now been threatened. <laughs> The President of the United States has threatened the House of Representatives uh, with uh, with uh, investigations through the through the Senate. So uh, this will be interesting how this uh, this uh, plays out. Marcus Conti reporting.